Welcome for joining us. Uh, it's glad, uh, we're glad that you could be here today to study God's Word together. And we've been looking at this series, Our Attitude Matters. You know, our attitude is so important because it changes the way we look at life. It, it changes the way our outlook at life and changes our everything. The way we look at life, the way we process things, the way we interact with people, everything is dependent on our attitude. So, there are some great attitudes which we can develop and also some dangerous ones which we need to avoid because an attitude can actually propel us, has the capability to propel us into the plans and the purposes of God. And at the same time, having a wrong attitude can prevent us from fulfilling God's purpose in our lives. So, uh, we are going to look at uh, an attitude that we need to avoid and that attitude is a quarrelsome and argumentative attitude. Uh, Proverbs 25 and verse 24 says, It is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. So we know that this is applicable for, applicable for the contentious man also. right? So if you are contentious, quarrelsome and argumentative, the scripture says it's, it's better to avoid such an atmosphere. So the downside of having such uh, an attitude, an argumentative and uh, quarrelsome attitude is that it creates a lot of unpleasantness. Um, so it creates an unpleasant environment, be it the home or the office. Uh, people don't want to be around us and they start avoiding us. There is a breakdown of communication. People don't want to communicate to us. People don't want to talk to us. Because every time we have a conversation, it ends up in a, in a quarrel or an argument. Um, so there is a breakdown of relationships as well. So, um, so this really does not help us. And then the cure is this, the antidote is this, uh, which we find in 2 Timothy chapter 2, 23, 24. Verse 23 says, But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. Verse 24, and a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient. So, um, the really, the way to counter this kind of an attitude in ourselves is to learn to have an amicable discussion or a dialogue. And, and really avoid these kind of quarrelsome or hostile arguments. Secondly, we learn, we must learn to be gentle with our words and be patient. Being gentle with our words, in stating facts, being gentle. Uh, we can be firm, of course, but we can be gentle as well. And the third thing is to really see, are there any unresolved issues which uh, in my life? Anything that is unresolved, which results in anger and resentment. Maybe uh, a certain kind of people, or maybe with authority. Are there any unresolved issues in my life? Uh, and, and lastly, of course, we can be rooted in our identity in Christ. Our self-worth does not come from proving someone to be wrong all the time. Our self-worth come, comes from the fact that we are accepted by Jesus and we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. So who we are in Christ, if we are rooted uh, in that, in that uh, truth, and our identity is strong in that, we need not get into these kind of problems with an attitude, right? So let's pray and, and just ask God to equip us, uh, ask God or God to dismantle this attitude if it, is, if it is there in our lives so that we can have a patient dialogue with people, an amicable discussion with people and have, uh, maybe we can ask the Lord to heal us and change us so that um, we can have a healthy attitude rather than an argumentative and a quarrelsome attitude. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We come before you, Lord. Spirit of God, we ask, Lord, that you would, um, for those of us who sense that we have this in us, we have this tendency in us, we pray that you would give us a change of heart. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, establish us in who we are in you, Lord. The fact that we belong to you, that we, in fact, we are, that we are loved by you, that we are accepted by you, Lord. And Lord, we ask that you would heal us. You would heal us of past hurts, Lord, so that um, we do not encourage this attitude in ourselves, Lord. 
Yes, Lord, we pray that you would enable us to have a healthy attitude so that we can go greater heights, Lord. Go to greater heights in you, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.